today. Today's lesson it's a hands-on lesson, so prepare your rulers. We will be learning about triangles. Remember, a triangle is a polygon that has three sides and three angles. Let's discover it together. Open page 845 and prepare your inch ruler and let's measure these triangles. The question is telling us to measure it to the nearest quarter of an inch. What is a quarter of an inch? If we have here the ruler, it's divided into four equal parts. So here we have from zero to one. So each part is one fourth of an inch so from 0 to 1 here we have 1 fourth 2 fourth and 3 fourth so either it's 1 fourth 2 fourth of an inch 3 fourth of an inch or it's 1 inch we will measure to the nearest quarter now let's take a look at these two triangles Triangle A. After I measured triangle A to the nearest quarter of an inch, I discovered that each side is to the nearest one inch. So all the sides are equal. When I measured triangle B, each side was near to one inch and quarter. One inch and quarter one inch and quarter so again all the sides are equal but, but this triangle is a little bit bigger it's one and quarter of an inch let's measure the last two triangles triangle c and triangle d triangle c i discovered that this side is one inch and this side is one inch and the last side was to the nearest one and two fourth of an inch which is or one and half of an inch because two fourth is equal to one half so it's to the nearest one and two fourth of an inch in quarter in the last triangle this side was to the nearest one inch this one was to the nearest two and one fourth of an inch and the last side was two inch so the three sides were not we don't have any equal sides here they are all they all have different sides now let's talk about the triangles that we have uh, measured triangle a b c and d we need to identify each triangle with what we discovered about the side lengths number one which triangle had no side lengths are the same remember the triangle that has no side length that were the same yes it was triangle d in number two all three sides were the same we had two triangles remember the first two triangles all the sides were the same triangle a and triangle b now the last question, exactly two side lengths were the same. That was triangle C. Before we move to the next page, let's just take a look at triangle D. Do you see the squared corner? Remember the right angle? We talked about angles and we talked about the right angle, the square corner. This triangle has a square corner it has a right angle so what do we call it we call it a right triangle so any triangle that has one right angle we call it a right triangle now turn the page and let's try it together compare the angles of each triangle below which triangle is a right angle let's circle it triangle a triangle b or triangle c which triangle has a right angle has a square corner yes it's triangle a so we will circle triangle a 
Now, which triangle did we circle? We will write triangle A. Now, explain why did you choose triangle A? Why did we choose it? Because it has... A square corner. Now, so triangle A is a right triangle. Let's again talk about those three triangles. Which triangle has an angle greater than a right angle? Which triangle has an angle greater than a right angle? Yes. It's triangle B. Triangle B has an angle that is greater than a right angle. Where is this angle? Let's see it together. Here. This is the angle. It's greater than a right angle. Now, which triangle has all three angles that are less than a right angle? All three of them, yes, it's triangle C. Triangle C has all three angles less than a right angle. Now, let's move to page 847 and solve two questions together. Let's practice it together. We will measure the sides of each triangle to the nearest quarter of an inch then we will state the number of sides with equal length. Now, let's start with number 7. When I measured number 7 to the nearest quarter of an inch, I discovered that each side is 3 fourths of an inch. So actually, all the sides are equal. All three sides are equal. Now, let's solve another question together. Compare the angles of each triangle, then circle the correct description. From number 11 to 14, you will need to compare the angles of each triangle and circle the correct description of the triangle. In number 11, does this triangle have a right angle or it has one angle that is greater than a right angle? Yes, it has one angle that is greater than a right angle which is this angle now go and solve the even numbers and number 15 and don't forget to send me on class dojo and don't forget your kahoot